when Jamie Lee Curtis won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress on Sunday night, everyone was excited for her except for Angela Bassett. And here is why. Welcome back to my Taylor Talks channel. If you are new here, make sure to click that subscribe button and like for some more videos. Other than the Silicon Valley bank fiasco that's going on in California, the other topic of discussion for the past couple of days has been the Oscars and Angela Bassett's Best Supporting Actress snub. Yep, that's right. So Jamie Lee Curtis, she actually won an Oscar for that category and fans all around the world were not happy about it, especially since the fan favorite to win for this category was Angela Bassett. In fact, when Jamie Lee Curtis was announced as the winner, you could hear a collective gasp in the audience as everyone thought that Angela Bassett was going to win. Jamie Lee Curtis, you could see her mouthing the word shut up. She was just so surprised and shocked to have won. And Angela Bassett's reaction to Jamie Lee Curtis winning, her reaction went viral. Everyone around Angela Bassett pretty much stood up and clapped and was cheering on Jamie. However, Angela Bassett decided to stay seated and you could see that she was visibly emotional and very sad about losing the award. And a lot of people took to social media instantly and said that, it was a snub that Angela Bassett should have won, especially since she was nominated for her first Oscar 30 years ago um, for playing Tina Turner in What's Love Got to Do With It. Everyone thought that she was going to win playing this iconic person, and she lost. And now 30 years later, playing a queen in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, everyone thought that she was going to come back and get that Oscar, and she did not. And at first, a lot of people were saying that her response to losing the Oscar was unprofessional. They were calling her a sore loser and shady and not classy and entitled. However, a lot of people were also coming to Angela Bassett's defense and said that as a woman, especially as a black woman in Hollywood, being graceful and classy, even in the face of discrimination, racism, being overlooked all of the time is the best way to react. It's almost like you have to put on a performance in the face of uncertainty. And when Angela did not win that Oscar, she no longer felt the need to perform. She gave a human reaction. Because of this, a lot of people supported her authenticity so instead of seeing a lot of articles kind of bashing how she reacted to Jamie Lee Curtis's win, I see a lot of articles saying that she gave a human reaction and that she is allowed to be disappointed. We can name countless times as when people have not won Oscars and they have totally started cussing out at the camera or their faces are just totally mad or upset. However, this was not the case for Ms. Angela Bassett. I think she responded with grace and she responded the way that she needed to respond. Now, a few minutes later, Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors were presenting on stage for Best Cinematography. And before they started their presentation, they shouted out Angela Bassett in just the best way possible. And I'm glad that they both decided to do that because I think as a collective in that moment, a lot of people were still shocked over what just occurred and we all know that Michael B. Jordan worked alongside with Angela Bassett in the first and the second movie for Black Panther and we know that Jonathan Majors did work with Angela Bassett's husband Courtney B. Vance in his HBO show Lovecraft Country. They both decided to support Angela Bassett and give her a well-deserved and much-needed shout out during that moment to show her that she is loved, seen, and overly appreciated even if she did not win that Oscar. Now that being said, Said, here is why she did not win the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. She was going up against Hollywood royalty. Jamie Lee Curtis is the product of two Hollywood royalty mega movie stars. Janet Leigh and Tony Curtis were her parents and they were both nominated for Oscars and they both lost. Now Jamie Lee Curtis's mom Janet is best known for 
her role in Alfred Hitchcock's movie Psycho, her infamous shower scene has been recreated so many times. It has even been recreated by Jamie Lee Curtis herself. She's also best known for starring in The Manchurian Candidate. And Jamie Lee Curtis's father, Tony Curtis, is best known for his role in The Defiant Ones, also starring alongside Sidney Poitier and his role in Some Like It Hot starring Marilyn Monroe. He even dated Marilyn Monroe for a little while. On top of this, I recently watched a YouTube video of her breaking down what this Oscar nomination meant to her and she talked about the significance of the pearl necklace that she was wearing at the time and she said that her godparents would give her two pearls each year for her birthday and they wanted her to save them until she was able to put the necklace together piece by piece. And she basically said that her godparents ran Hollywood to the point where if you wanted to get your movie produced, if you wanted the best stars, the best directors, if you wanted your movies to go to the movie theater, it had to be approved by her godfather. That being said, it is no surprise that she did win an Oscar on Sunday night because her parents and her godfather's legacy still lives on and their relationships that they built and the Hollywood foundation that they helped put together is still alive and thriving and growing today. And my hunch is that the Oscar voters knew this and they know this, so they just gave her the Oscar. Now, before you guys come at me at the comments by saying, oh, you said they gave her the Oscar, I do want to say that Jamie Lee Curtis is, I believe, in my personal opinion, she is a great actress. She's had a stunning career over the last 50 years. I love some of the projects that she's in. And I honestly do believe that Jamie Lee Curtis has talent outside of being a Nepo baby, which is an even bigger conversation that's going on now. However, that being said, I do not agree with her winning the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress over Angela Bassett. I've seen both performances for Black Panther Wakanda Forever and Everything Everywhere all at once, and there is no comparison. Angela Bassett won. And if we even want to get technical with this Oscar nomination, Stephanie Sue, Jamie Lee Curtis's co-star, she should have won over Jamie Lee Curtis. So it goes to show that sometimes not just your talent, but also your relationships and who you know will get you further than just your raw talent. Some say it's playing the game, some say it's just how life is. However, in my personal opinion, I think Angela Bassett got the bad end of the stick for the Oscars. Now, am I saying Jamie Lee Curtis did not deserve to win an Oscar? No, I'm not saying that at all. I do think that she is Oscar worthy. I just believe again that Angela Bassett should have won in that category, in that specific award. And even Jamie Lee Curtis knows it. She did an interview right after she won and she said that she hoped she didn't get canceled. Old Hollywood wins again. But I wanna know what you guys think. Did you guys know that Angela Bassett wasn't gonna win or were you guys rooting for her? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as my inspiration for today, I want to say the best is yet to come. That's right, so make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe again. And as I always say, stay safe. See ya.